Final one on open AI, and then we are going to move to kind of your investing style before a quick fire. I have to ask, I, I would get, you know, in trouble if I didn't, Vince. I'm, you know, very charming British guy otherwise. Uh, the price was high. I reported $29 billion. <laughs> um, what was the discussion internally around price? Because you still have to see real upside. Like, what was the discussion? And how did you project upside scenario planning? Well, we certainly had a discussion, a heated discussion around it. You know, we have a very team-oriented firm. And so we disagree and commit once we make decisions. And we make decisions to this team. And we live by that. No one, no one person makes a decision. And the price here was high. It's on an absolute basis. It doesn't matter what company you're investing in. At the prices that this round was done, you know, you're talking about very upper echelon type outcomes to justify good returns. But I, I kind of come back to the, the intangible that it's really hard to understand the pace of adoption of these major technologies. And any numbers I would put on paper for you would look insane. You would look at them in a spreadsheet and tell me there's just no evidence to support this. But then you look at these iconic technologies and the great ones all follow that insane curve. And so the balance we try to hold, I think this is what makes Thrive a really special firm, is we're able to kind of separate ourselves from the kind of quantitative rigor that you know we rely on for a lot of investments we do and hold the tension of what could go right, think creatively, understand how this could look like the most transformative things. And if that happens, again, I, this is, you know, we're talking about search potentially getting disrupted or something that enables workflow automation for hundreds of billions of dollars spent on, you know, different jobs and categories out there. And even now, you know, we didn't know this at the time of the investment, but with ChatGPT Pro and the traction that's seeing, maybe that won't be the durable, you know, revenue engine for the company over time, but the velocity with which that's ramping, you know, Kareem, my partner Kareem, as we were saying this, the scalability properties of what they have built are so good that you know we'd rather bet on the compounding upside of that scalability than sit on the sidelines because once it's clear, it'll get priced up very quickly. Um, and so we ultimately decided to lean into that. 